Lit Hearts, welcome back to another reading. Happy day, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. I hope everyone's wonderful. Um, and let's get to it. I've got six decks out here. We're getting crazy. <clears throat> if you'd like to book a personal, please reach out through DM to um, Lit Hearts Love. <laughs> Um, either on Instagram or Facebook, and I'd love to assist. And thank you all for your comments, likes, subscriptions, and shares. I, I so appreciate all of you. I thoroughly enjoy reading everything you have to say <clears throat> in the reels and in these full-length videos as well. All right, we have Kipper, Angels of Romance, Enchanted Map, Seed and Sickle, Good Woodward. To clarify, Good and Woodward are our tarot decks. The rest, oracles, <clears throat> fortunes, themes, love, all the good stuff. All right, let's see what's going on in the collective today. We're going to start with Kipper. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from Kipper tonight? Marriage in reverse and expectation. So there might be a marriage or trouble, trouble with a marriage with expectation. Maybe, um... It, did, it, was, it didn't turn out as expected. Seems simple enough. The marriage did not turn out the way that they expected it to turn out. And now it's it's a burden. It's, um, it's stagnancy. It's stuck energy. Um, it's wanting to get out. It's wanting to move on. Um, yeah. All right, let's continue. Angels of Romance. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from Angels of Romance? We have getting to know each other and healing family issues. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Your love benefits as you forgive your parents. Hmm. Getting to know each other was sort of like sideways. I don't know if it was in reverse or not. Um, it could either this is about a, another connection outside of the marriage and getting to know someone else, someone new. Um, now that this marriage is falling apart, or it was just in the reverse to show that they no longer want to, whoever this married couple is, um, they, they recognize that they need to heal, that they have a lot of issues. They have, there's a lot of toxicity within their family unit and, um, they don't want to engage with each other anymore. Or one person doesn't want to engage with the other one anymore. And that's why getting to know each other came out in reverse. They no longer want to get to know each other. <laughs> They've had enough of getting to know each other. They've seen enough. <clears throat> yeah. So it could be either one. Let's continue. And now we have... Enchanted map. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from Enchanted Map? Let 
message do you have for the collective from Enchanted Map Spirit? Dragon's Lair. Yeah, it just feels like it feels icy cold, you know? There's a lot of shadows and secrets and coldness within this marriage. Um, bitter, feels bitter. Um, hell, it's giving me the energy of hell being frozen over. <laughs> Let's see what it says. You are divinely, you are always protected and divinely directed. Now, did it come out in reverse? Shoot. I didn't realize if it did. I didn't notice if it did or not. I'll just read both and you'll have to. I wish I could, you know, do a quick <sighs> rewind. You can do a quick rewind. You do a quick, quick rewind and, you know, I'll consider both. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment, uh, out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be challenged or that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived, lived only in safety. A new experience is calling you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value and risk taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. And then reversed. Red flags shouldn't be ignored. Don't be seduced into learning a lesson that will hurt your heart. Temptation and intrigue abound, but be careful because you can't win this particular challenge. Heed this gentle warning about wanting and longing and the fantasy of belonging to someone, something, or an identity that has no true substance or long longevity. Ignore this alarm and you'll wander in circles near the edge of a dragon's lair. Choose another path for your treasures lie elsewhere. Yeah, it feels like someone's being warned about this marriage, um, that they need to move on that it is a, this feels like a warning. There's red flags here. There's a, there's, they're about to enter dangerous territory if they are to stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of family issues here. There's a lot of um, expectations that are, that are rooted in toxicity, rooted in um, darkness, um, rooted in possibly um, addiction. Yeah. All right. And then seed and sickle. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from Seed and Sickle? What message do you have for the collective from Seed and Sickle, Spirit? Two. Lily of the Valley and Fever Few. Now with um, seed and sickle, there's dawn and dusk. There's two different booklets, dawn and dusk. And I was taking it as um, at first, because this is, a, this is a new deck for me. At first I was taking it as dawn being upright, dusk being in the reverse. Um, but after reading into the booklets a little bit more, dawn is for a venturing into something new opening the doors, new territory, new excitement, new journey. And dusk is for healing. Dusk is for um, learning, um, taking a pause. And because of these cards over here, it feels like someone's 
um, in need of closing a door, I'm going to read the dusk for these two. <clears throat> so Lily of the Valley, two. Don't let appearances deceive you. Something that looks appealing may turn out to be dangerous and something with a toxic reputation may prove to be of value to you. Look beneath the surface and do your research before making a full decision. So this is about being deceived, <clears throat> thinking something that look, seems appealing, seems safe, seems lo uh, lo logically um, aligned is actually very dangerous and something that might have a reputation is proven to be of value and to be very careful to um, do your research before making a full decision. <clears throat> and fever few, friends and family have always rallied, rallied around you and now it's time to return some of that support. Someone near to you is struggling who haven't you heard from for a while? Reach out to them and return some of the love you've received from them in the past. Your own emotional wealth is bountiful right now. Be generous with it. Okay. Interesting. All right. And let's go into the tarot. <clears throat> and get a little bit more information about this situation. It feels like <clears throat> someone is confused within um, a marriage. See, that's the thing with, when I was in, um, I'm just gonna talk briefly about this without giving too much detail. But when I was in a, my toxic marriage, it was very difficult because all of the advice that I was receiving and all was, was based on working on the marriage. But um, even from, you know, from my own family, from the people closest to me, but I was suffering so severely. And it was like, at some point there was a realization that, well, for one, I needed to step into my own power, right? I was looking outside of myself for advice for other people to tell me what I wanted to hear, which was get out. <laughs> but nobody was doing that. Everyone was saying, it's not my place. You know, I, I have no, um, this isn't, and it's not. It, it was never anyone else's place to give me advice. Um, and so, but that was part of my learning of how to make decisions for myself, how to know what's right for me, how to know what's in alignment for, for me, for my future, for my truth. And I was unfortunately in a, in a, a toxic situation um, that would have just continued. It was a cycle. It was a, it was a cycle for 15 years over and over and over the good the bad the good the bad the good the bad the good the bad you know um it's like how many more times did i want to get on the ride you know so i i get this but there's this energy here of like there may be a feeling of um being blind being blind to the truth of the matter, um, the truth of the other person, the truth of their goals, the truth of, um, because often there's in, in toxic situations, it's just, it's not based on love. It's not, it's based on feeding, um, toxicity that stems from trauma, um, and filling dark voids within each other and feeding off of each other. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's all about codependency. And um, in order to heal, there needs to be a separation. 
this is going to be, um, the, the more times for me, the more times I entered into a cycle, the worse it got. And, and that's just how it will go because the universe wants to put us on our path. They want to put us where we're supposed to, where we're aligned, where we grow, where we step into our purpose. And when we refuse to see that, the universe will respond with heavy karma. That's how it works. The karma will pile up and pile up and pile up and pile up the longer we ignore what the universe is trying to show us. <clears throat> to the point where it can become overwhelmingly burdensome at where you're starting from nothing, you know, where you're, you, the universe will wipe you completely clean if you don't listen. <laughs> I laugh, but <clears throat> it's true. It's true. They will, the universe will wipe you completely clean where there's nothing left to grasp onto if you don't listen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like someone is supposed to recognize truth, recognize what feels what's right for them, um, what's right for others. Um, they're supposed to learn to see past illusions. They're supposed to learn not to step into traps that they already know exist within cycles because they've already experienced it before. Um, let's see. <clears throat> the good tarot. This fever few card seemed a little bit out of place, but there might be someone outside of this connection that someone's supposed to reach out to. Yeah. Maybe for help, but it, I mean, it didn't seem like that when I read fever few, it felt more like extending an emotional hand out to someone else. The other option is it could be talking to someone who's outside and maybe we are talking to someone who's outside of this marriage needing to extend a hand into the marriage to help. I don't know. Let's see. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from good? message do you have from good spirit call yeah I feel like someone's going through karma oh maybe they didn't get married and they were supposed to could be that too two of water Maybe that's why marriage is in reverse. That's why they're supposed to reach out. I don't know. That's why getting to know each other is in reverse. They, they refuse to get to know someone they were supposed to marry. Oh, let's see. Ten of air. Three more. And maybe that's why Lily of the Valley came out. Maybe somebody chose um, 
what what seemed like the uh, correct choice. Maybe somebody wrong, uh, married the wrong person, married somebody based on image, made um, based on convenience, um, and not maybe someone else didn't have the reputation they were looking for, but they were actually in love with them and they didn't cho choose that person. And now they're receiving karma for their actions. They were basing their decisions off of some sort of an expectation. <clears throat> Who they were expected to marry. Three more, please, Spirit. But it turned out to be a dragon's lair. Because they were going the wrong way. Three more, please, Spirit. Five of Earth. of earth six of air all right well with the six of air as the overall energy there is movement it feels like there there might be um page of air someone's leaving a situation behind they're traveling They've realized maybe this is after the karma. Maybe this is after a life lesson, after the judgment. But they're moving either, either this queen of earth is the person who's doing the moving. Or um, someone's moving towards this queen of earth. Um, but it feels like some sort of a connection has ended. And... They are moving on at this time. They may not be expressing this. They they may be doing internal um, soul searching. Um, they may be doing a lot of thinking right now. They might feel, they might be feeling like they need to do this on their own. Um, they might feel like they have to do it on their own. Um... All right, let's clarify. So if this is talking about the marriage, I feel like that's ending. Um, that's what's ended. That feels... Yeah, that feels, that feels like the most accurate representation out here at this time. But let's clarify. Clarify six of air, please, spirit. The seer. Seven of arrows. Which is insecurity in this deck. Five of vessels. Hmm. So... The person who is, the energy I'm getting here is not 
Um, so normally a seer would be a, like a high priestess would be somebody who is, um, I guess it could be either, it could, you know, when it comes to spirituality, you, you can't trust everyone out there because with spirituality, it's like become this whole, um, you know, it's this, it's, it's the, it's the new, um, fad, so to speak. Um, it's what's, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon of spirituality without having done any spiritual, real spiritual work, which is actually extremely dark. Meaning going into your subconscious, your own subconscious and seeing the truth of who you are. And untangling the web that is our conditioning. Um, and it takes a lot of, um, it's cycles and it's, it's cycles of peeling back layers of, um, layers of whatever, whatever it is that is binding you to toxicity. It's different for every single person. Um, but there's layers of it and it's releasing those strongholds of darkness within ourselves so that light can infiltrate those areas within our bodies. It's very physical in that sense because once we are able to fully feel the pain, and I mean it's painful when you, when you go down this road, it is painful. It's painful as hell. It is hell. <laughs> so when you really are feeling into the pain and the suffering that you are holding within your body and you feel it long enough that it is released out of your body, I mean, it can bring you to your knees. Um, I've had experiences where it's, I mean, it's been brutal at times, <clears throat> especially at the beginning, at the, at the beginning of it, when it first started for me, the first year, I'd say. Um, what I'm getting at is that that's what leads you to the truth of, of, who we are, of our divinity, um, connects us to the all-encompassing truth, connects us to unconditional love, connects us to the power we have within ourselves, connects us to our spirituality. We may express that spirituality differently. A lot of people go through the healing journey and, and might join us particular religion or they might go through the healing journey and become a yogi or they might go through the healing journey and um, learn about um, all the different healing plants and medicines and there's so many different routes but there's the, the whole um, system of healing, the, the whole, um, not system of healing, the whole industry of healing has become overloaded. And it's the same with religion over, over time as well. And, but specifically when it comes to like, what I'm picking up here with this card, it's infiltrated with people who are not healed, with people who are jumping on the bandwagon, learning as much as they can from the books, from other, um, from classes and, and all of that, but you're basically learning from someone who is still living in their trauma. So um, they're still not healed at all. They're just jumping on the bandwagon. And a lot of people in, in 
those situations are promoting, they promote spell work. They promote doing spell work to, I mean, what, whatever, you know, for whatever you want. There's a spell for that, you know? <laughs> but it's, it, I mean, it is quite literally the concept of, of doing that type of work. It stems from your trauma, stems from your wounds, stems from your inability to see yourself, stems from your fear. It is, that's why it's called black magic. It is rooted in fear. So anyway, I'm getting to that because this particular reading is about one of those people. They're the ones who are moving on. Um, they have been through a lot of, um, or someone is moving on from someone like this. Um, but it's very witchy energy. And, but it's very like backhanded or um, a dark, it's a dark witch. It's somebody who manipulates energies all for their own benefit. So it's, it's someone who feels like they can, um, they can obtain all of their desires with, through spell work. Yeah. They, they, they um, are liars and they are also, they're out for their own um, ecstasy. So it's a, an addiction. Um, and they may feel very powerful in this. They may feel like they are like, it's giving me the energy of like, I have, I don't know. It's like, they feel like they can, the, the energies of, of, they can harness whatever energies and the energies will work in their favor as if they are God. They have some sort of a God complex. Oh boy. Anyway, either someone is leaving this person behind or they're having to move on because they're experiencing heavy karma for whatever actions for, for this witchcraft that they perform. Um, yeah. All right. Clarify call, please, spirit. The Blasted Oak, The Hooded Man, King of Bows. All right, so that was the seer as the overall energy. So I, I assume we're talking about this marriage. So this is going to be about this couple. So here's this King of Bows, and this person is showing up in snake energy. These could be two snakes, this married couple. One is a dark witch. And this King of Bows is having um, this, it's like this, these shocking revelations um, about their life. <clears throat> they're under, they're under um, judgment from the universe for their actions, for choosing this person as their, as their companion. Um, for going along with what this person, this person's plans, um, for conspiring um, with them, for being their ally, um, for hiding uh, the secrets, for going along with the secrets, for thinking that what was happening in this marriage was... Um, aligned with it wasn't ever aligned with any spiritual practice it was it, the only spiritual practice it was aligned with was is um is e you know evil dark um demonic yeah 
And it's like, they're having to come to terms with that at this time. Um, or they're being exposed. Uh, but this couple is being exposed for this um, type of work that they do. Yeah. And with expectation out here, it's like maybe this, this energy of like, there's some sort of, um, they, they may be in the spotlight in some way and they have some sort of an expectation to, um, to seem as if they are possibly good people, to seem as if they're upright citizens, but really um, these two have, are, are buried, buried in secrets. Mm-hmm. They're snakes. Um, they harm others. They're, they're greedy. They're power hungry. Um, and, and it was all, it feels like it was all because the feminine energy here felt like they were this, um, this, it feels like, like I said before, they felt like they were, um, they were able to play God it, spiritually. They may have thought that they were able to manipulate energies in a very God-like way to go in their benefit, to benefit them. <clears throat> okay. Clarify two of water. Six of vessels. Reunion, what the heck? Two of bows, decision. The green man. Four of bows, celebration. What? Okay. All right. The seer energy in the marriage, the dark witch is not the one moving on. The masculine's moving on. That's why I was saying all this, whatever I was saying here, like, why was I doing this? Why was I doing that? Why did I go along with this person? Why did I think this was a good idea? Well, now they're deciding um, to get out of this. This was all, um, this person was power hungry. This person um, was in, in it for the status. Um, they were, they, they may have seemed like it might have, have seemed like this was a, a happy couple, but um, it was actually very toxic. <clears throat> and remember where I, where here it was like reaching out to someone emotionally, that's what this is. Because it looks like this, this green man, the masculine is taking action now with reunion, wanting to have an emotional connection with someone. Yeah. Um, standing up for themselves. And remember how I said, I said it somewhere over here about possibly it being about choosing the wrong person to marry. Well, maybe there was somebody else. Maybe that's who this queen of earth is not the wife. Let's see, let's keep going. Because this masculine wants to connect with someone else. They they feel like there is, there's joy and a, 
and happiness. It feels very happy. It feels very celebratory. Um, and it feels very much like mm, the masculine realizing they have they have the power to manifest the life that they desire. And what do they desire? They desire coming together um, with someone in a reunion. So, so someone from their past. <clears throat> Possibly someone from before this marriage. <clears throat> Clarify 10 of air. Four of arrows. Clarify ten of air. Two of arrows. Injustice. Seven of bows. Clearance. Yeah. Okay, so they were involved. King of vessels. The masculine. So this is again the masculine's energy. So. Whatever this witchy energy was doing, they were conspiring with this person. They were, they, they joined in with all of whatever this witchy energy was saying. They were agreeing with um, whatever they were doing. They were doing it with them. Um, they were basically followers. They, they weren't in their power. They, they just assumed that this was... It may have seemed like this person knew what they were talking about. It may have seemed like they were really spiritual, but they were they were operating possibly, you know, they were operating un, unhealed. They were maybe see a lot of people who are unhealed will jump into spirituality, will jump into religion. Um, but they're masked. They're masked because they're not healed. They're they're there for the appearance of it. They're there for um, to, to look the part, to play the part, to, to be recognized, um, as X, Y, and Z to the community. Anyway, back to the story with the masculine, whatever they were doing with this person, it was, it was very dark and it was, um, it caused harm and, Remember how I said there were a lot of secrets? I don't know if the secrets are coming out, but this masculine wants to heal and 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 make things right. They want to make things right because they feel like the way that they operated with this with this witch brought a lot of well, it brought a lot of karma into their life. So it was the karma. It was the a direct result of the karma that they experienced. The suffering that they experienced led them to this place where they felt like they needed to heal. They needed to be done with this connection. They needed to um, clear it out of their energy so that they can um, move on from whatever injustice that they caused and 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 um and work to to bring about um to right their wrongs there's a song my ex um my ex husband um speaking of in he was in a band and he has a song called Writing Our Wrongs. We've been writing our wrongs. We've been singing our songs. Writing our wrongs. Singing our songs. That's all I remember. <laughs> but that's what I thought of here. Writing our wrongs. Or wanting to at least. All right. Clarify five of earth. Ace of Vessels, 
clarify five of earth the world tree whoa knight of vessels in reverse six of stones in reverse The sun of life. Yeah. I feel like they were exposed. Um, and that was part of the karma. This couple was exposed. Um, what they were doing was exposed. Who they were was exposed. Their, their snake, they, they were operating as snakes. That was exposed. They were exploiting others. That was exposed. Um, they were maybe playing a lot of games trying to be sneaky, um, had hidden motives. All of it was exposed. And, <clears throat> but now they're like, I feel like, but what I said up here is that there were other secrets that weren't exposed. So I don't think, I don't think actual secrets were exposed. Um, they probably will be because it, this feels like divinely guided. This feels like karmically they were exposed. I feel like generally their characters were exposed. Who they were was exposed. Um, they may have like the things they may have said about um, the things they may have talked about. People are realizing they were talking about themselves. They were telling on themselves the whole time. Um, and it's sort of giving that energy. So it's like a complete lack of trust because people are starting to see that these two people were like, they were complete liars, you know, the whole time. But the masculine um, wants to wants to change because they they this exposure i feel like it's more than the exposure i feel like their their heart is opening that's why we have the ace of vessels here um and and that might be part of the exposure too about their heart being opened um but it's leading them away from the energies of the past. Um, I don't know if they're anywhere close to, to leading, you know, I feel like they're, they're being led very, this person might be so heavily in toxicity, both of these energies are so heavily in toxicity that um, moving past their, their, their history um, <clears throat> is gonna take some time, you know? It's gonna take some time for this clearance, for this cleared energy, because right now it just feels like exposure and it feels like a scrambling or like not knowing what to do being exposed and feeling like they have to shift, they have to change, not knowing how to change um, their, their secrets coming out, them not wanting their secrets to come out. There probably is a lot more secrets that haven't come out yet that they're scared will come out. A lot of that kind of energy is going on. Um, but the thing is, is that like, instead of, because all of this is like the, because I'm feeling it in the way that I am, it's like very haphazard in energy. And so there's still lack of accountability. You know what I mean? There's still this energy. See, that's why I was saying before, karmically with, with things like this, if someone's doing harm and there's injustice and, and spirit is involved and, and, there is um, something is being divinely orchestrated karmically. It feels like I was saying before, it's like it's every time you enter into the cycle, the cycle becomes worse and worse and worse and worse until you're starting from ground zero. You have nothing left. So 
all that you were grasping onto, all you were trying to hide from, all you were trying to ignore, all you were trying to run away from, all of that you have to then face because spirit, spirit's going to ensure that you do. So it's like these people still aren't getting that. They still feel like they can run and hide. They still feel like, yes, they want to do right. This masculine wants to do right, but they also don't want to talk about all the shit that went down. Do you know what I mean? They just want to be able to like start fresh and not, not reveal who they were, what they did, all the secrets. But you know how that's going to go. It's just going to lead to more difficulties. Yeah. Um, and, and the same with the, and that might not be the masculine. I might be picking up on the feminine's energy in that energy. Do you know what I mean? It could be either one. But it's just feeling like um, energetically of haphazard a little bit where, where they don't know what's going on. They don't know how to handle this. And the reason why it's happening is because of the way that they were operating in darkness, in their shadow. And for it to be righted, for the wrongs to be righted, the wrongs have to be completely revealed. Um, the wrongs have, they, there has to be apologies and there has to be a clearing of a, an acknowledgement for what, what they did. And then they can start to give back to the, the individuals that they, that they used, that they stole from, um, that they um, discarded, whatever it was, whatever this, um, and it might even, it might not even be that, but it is definitely an energy of like, it's an energy of, of like pushing anyone aside to get out of their way. That's the energy. It's the energy of, that's the past energy. Like, I don't care who you are. If, if you're not working for me, if you're not going to feed into this ego of mine, if you're not going to feed my power, if you're not in, you're out. And then it just feels very like, um, shallow, you know? So I don't know. So I don't know what it is, but specifically, but it's just the entirety, the entirety of it. <clears throat> All right. Clarify the moon. Five of bows. Clarify the moon. Five of vessels. Six of bows. Queen of arrows. All right, so now we have a feminine here. Seven of stones. Hmm. This is giving me the energy of healing this moon card. So I, I don't know who this queen of arrows is. I don't know if it's the, the, the witchy energy. I'm not really feeling that. I feel like Maybe this is the other, the person that the green man wants to connect with, a, a queen of arrows. Um, because maybe that's why the moon is here. They haven't necessarily opened up about this, um, but they're thinking heavily about this queen. Um, they feel like if this queen and him were to come together, it would be ecstasy. It would be empowerment. It would be abundant. Yeah. Yeah. They feel they feel all the feels for this person. Um 
They feel passionate. Me, okay, maybe this person is the person who, or like someone who helped them. Oh. All right, well, me, this doesn't have to be romantic, although it felt like it here. This reunion. Well, it still doesn't have to be romantic. No, no I don't know. It, I don't know. But it is definitely like passionate and it's also, um, it's also, um, I think this person um, has some sort of a hand in helping this masculine energy to step into their power, to realize the this connection they were in, this marriage they were in, to realize the wrongdoings, um, to realize the toxicity, to gain enough um, strength in who they are so that they can make decisions for themselves. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be, but I was sort of picking up on that here with, with this five of bows empowerment. Um, hmm. Okay. Clarify Queen of Earth. Knight of Stones. Horse. Clarify Queen of Earth. Page of Arrows. Wren. King of Vessels. Hmm. Well, I don't know what this is. I don't know what kind of ending this is. I, I don't know. I assume this queen of earth is the queen. Uh, or it's either. Okay. So the queen of the queen of um, swords that was here, the moon card that it felt more like someone who was helping them into their power. Maybe that's not the person they want to reunite with. It doesn't have to be. Because now there's this queen of pentacles and it feels like this queen of pentacles is where they see their future. It's who they're looking towards. It's who they, that gets them fired up. So either this queen of pentacles is the queen of swords or it's somebody else um, that they want to grow with or they, they, feel, they feel love towards. Is this somebody who's a very committed person um, and somebody who's very, um, um, stable? That that's who they want to move towards. Yeah. Mm hmm And they have the strength now to do it. Yep. Okay. And that's why the overall energy is the six of air. The masculine's the one doing the moving. Okay. But they may still be struggling with some type of insecurity. Uh, that's, that could be, that could be still project, like a projection from their, their previous connection to, I don't know. All right. But over here, it kind of felt like there was still a lot of, it still feels like, it doesn't feel like there's a cleared a cleared energy at this time. It still feels tumultuous. It still feels like there's exposure. It still feels like there um, there's healing um, that needs to happen and things like that. But yeah, they just need to make sure they are moving forward, you know, and not moving backwards. But I feel like maybe this is of the past. Maybe in the past they thought they thought one person was a certain way, but they ended up being um, darker 
and they thought another person maybe was darker, but they ended up being lighter. I don't know. It, I mean, it could be anything, but their perception was off or they, they judged without getting to know someone maybe, or they just um, made assumptions. Yeah. And they had to learn the hard way, unfortunately. All right. And the emotional connection here to reach out to might be this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.